Hi, so we've been making quite a few machines that would in fact benefit from a flywheel. And of course I've put flywheels on and people have said, hey Rob, use a bigger flywheel, which is great if you have a bigger flywheel. So what do you do if you haven't? Or what do you do if you haven't scavenged a flywheel from something like an exercise bike? Well, really, it's not that difficult. It helps if you have one of these, which is a bicycle wheel, clearly, and some of this, which is a big lump of concrete. Actually, this is post-mix. So we've got to do a little bit to prepare that wheel. Let's do that. All I've done is remove the tire, the gear cluster and the axle, and I've got this piece of plastic with a hole in it. Now you could use anything at all, actually. A bit of plastic sheet and some cardboard would do great. But over one side, and the side that had the screw on it, because that's actually dished. Well, that means is that that side is flatter than that side. That side pokes out a little bit, that side's flatter. And they do that so that the chain clear, clear, clears the gear cluster. So we've got the dished side here, and that goes on the dished side, and we gaffer tape it down so there's no gaps. So there it is, all taped up. Now clearly it forms a mould, and we're going to fill that with postcrete. Postcrete kind of awesome because it sets in 10 minutes, but you could use concrete. I guess you could use plaster, but we're going to fill that with postcrete and then sprinkle some water on and 10 minutes later it should be set. And you're giving it about 10 minutes to harden, flip it over and take off your plastic and you'll have the other side. Now, if the water hasn't penetrated, you'll get a bit of dust coming out. So fill it with some more postcrete and pour some more water on. It'll be fine. Now, postcrete hardens 10, 15 minutes, but there's a difference between hardened and dried and hardened and cured. Concrete is really funny stuff. It actually gets strong by interlocking of crystal growth. So the longer you leave it damp, the more those crystals can grow and the stronger the concrete gets. That's why when they do things like our airport runways or piers, they keep it damp for about two weeks, believe it or not. Over that 14 days, it gets super, super strong. I mean, it's, I think, a little odd to do that for something like a flywheel, but if you really want, you can do. Just cover it in damp sacking and 14 days later, let it dry. For us, we'll leave this until tomorrow, in which case it'll be hard enough and strong enough for us to handle it. Right now it's hard, but it's not strong enough to handle, so I have to put it away for a day. The thing we have left to do with this is actually two jobs. One is balance it. Now, balancing it's not a problem. You just take a steel brush to it, stick it in axle, find out where it's uh, got too much weight and steel brush it off. And we'll be doing that tomorrow when it's just, this is hardened up. The other thing we need to do is it will dust. So you need to paint it with a sealant. Now, sealants can be loads of things. If you go to your DIY store, you'll find something called concrete sealant. Although you can just paint it with a mixture of 50% PVA and 50% uh, water. PVA is white glue. That'll be a sealant. Or you can use something called silicon butadiene rubber, which is SBR. That's another great concrete sealant. Or you can just buy a tub of something that says concrete sealant, and that will actually stop it. If you really want to go to town on it, of course, you could cover it in a coat of body filler, car body filler, sand it nice and smooth and give it a cur uh, Paint, paint coat over the top of it and that'd be pretty awesome for us. We are actually finished with this stage and we're going to put it away until tomorrow. Okay so it's now dry enough to work with so I put the axle back in. Now this is going to want to settle at the point at where there's most weight. So at the moment it's sitting there which means there's most weight here. If I move that it's going to go back to that point and we need to remove that weight and this is what balancing is about. We've got two options. We can either take weight off or we can add weight on. If we take weight off, we take weight off here. If we add it on, we add it on here. To take weight off, you either use this thing, a wire brush, and brush at it, or a hammer and chisel, and chisel some weight out. Then it'll go to another position, and you need to check that that position doesn't favour, so any position you put it in, it stays where you put it. That's balancing. Once we've done that, we have ourselves a beautiful flywheel. Now, it weighs about 25 kilos or so, Lovely, it'll keep on running like that for absolutely ages. It's very strong because the spokes in there act as a kind of reinforcement into the reinf to make reinforced concrete. There's a really cheap way of making very good flywheels that anybody can do, to be honest. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.